There's a new presidential poll out today, the New York Times Siena College, and this poll says that Donald Trump leads Kamala Harris nationally by one point. Well, that's curious. Now, of course, the Republicans are going to jump up and scream and say, Donald Trump is surging. We're going to win. The media is going to jump on board and say, see, it's a toss up. It's so close. It's too close to call. That's what's going to happen. And there are going to be people that are upset and scared and nervous, and I'm not, and I'll tell you why. I've talked about polls in the past. Here's what we don't know about polls. We don't know who owns them. Recently, we found out there have been some radical right people that have polls and that have agendas with those polls. We don't know the questions they're asking. We don't know who they're asking them of. We don't know what they're doing with the data once they have it and if they are following some kind of agenda. The polls have been notoriously wrong, such as in 2022 when they swore there would be a red wave, and of course there wasn't. These polls are used to influence elections, try to get people nervous or try to get them excited, try to get them to react. But here's my question about this poll. Everything Donald Trump is doing is failing. He's losing at every turn. Everything Kamala Harris is doing is winning. She's building support. She's fundraising at untold amounts. Yet this poll comes out and says she's losing to Donald Trump by one point. That's curious. Is that real numbers? Or is that propaganda? Or is that just bullshit? Don't listen to the polls. They haven't done us any good up to this point. There's no reason to think that between now and November, they'll do us any good. The fact is, some of these polls will come out and have crazy things just to try to dissuade or persuade you to do whatever they want you to do. Don't listen to the polls. Look at the facts. Look at the people. Look at the candidates. And you'll understand Kamala Harris is not only going to win, but she's going to win decisively.